What's up everybody? I'm Morgan Crosby. Welcome to Cars and Crosby. I have an amazing episode for you guys today. We've got Corvettes that are going out. We got Corvettes that are coming in. We're going to be talking a lot about convertibles today. We have two very good examples of showing you what you can do in two different types of approaches to them. One is going to be more performance oriented where the other one is going to be more of a style cruiser. So Fishman is here. I'm going to go say hi to him and see what he's got coming off the truck right now. And we're also going to check out what kind of things are on the truck going to other dealerships in Canada. Holy cow, fish man. What do you got, buddy? You got just one for me today. Which one do you got, big guy? Oh, right there. Yeah, no. I'm doing good, man. I, I feel like this is uh, this is becoming a regular occurrence. I love this. We should almost get you a Finch shirt and everything. <laughs> so, fish man, any more updates at the factory right now? Is there anything that you guys have seen that you want to read a report that you uh, noticed down at the factory? That no, we're just so ecstatic. You know that they finally released. You know uh, these units, these cars. Uh, like I said, uh, I think last time there was a supply chain issue, but uh, evidently they, they sorted it out. You know, we're back to you know. Uh, Running units are as normal. Uh, of course, there's not much inventory on the ground. Yeah, yeah. This time of year, you know, just close to the holidays, you know. But uh, we're just trying to finish up with a strong year. Yeah, I, I've heard that they're maybe going to try to go all the way to Christmas to finish the 2020 production. I'm not surprised, you know. Uh, a, a lot of changes. Uh, we've seen a lot of setbacks this year, but uh, we're just trying to make it to the goal line. Yeah. Well, Fishman, I can't tell you how much I appreciate everything you do. There's some of Canada's finest for you. Oh, yeah, look at that. <laughs> we got French and English on there for you. It's some uh, maple syrup. Thank you so much for everything, Fishman. All right, guys, so let's take a look down the row here and see what we got. We got a lot of yellow, red calipers on here, a lot of black rims. You can tell that this one right here is a non-Z51 just because of how there is no spoiler on it from the factory. You'll also notice that they do have a nice amount of protection to keep that cocoon off of the paint. We have a black car here, so we're gonna be paying extra special attention to making sure that this does not have any issues in terms of paint, especially because black shows a lot of imperfections a lot easier than other colors. Also on here, we see again a lot of Z51s, a lot of base rims on this one though. Uh, it's interesting to see what everyone else orders uh, from their inventory. Right now, there is not uh, a lot of people that are gonna be ordering stuff for their inventory. Right now, we still have a massive waiting list in terms of being able to get uh, a Corvette for you. So if you are interested in getting a Corvette, if you see something that is landing on a website from a dealership, more often than not, it is actually something that's already been pre-sold. And there's some systems that General Motors has that pushes our inventory onto the website. So I apologize if you're asking for a vehicle that you see in our inventory. If it's a Corvette, it's definitely not something that's up for grabs as we have a lot of customers that are very eagerly waiting for their Corvettes. So we're gonna let Fishman take this thing off the truck. We're gonna unwrap it and see what we got underneath. Look at that, like a glove. All right, Brad has just finished unwrapping the Corvette and take your first look at this beautiful black 3LT Stingray. It has got a wicked interior. We're gonna be going over this quite a bit in detail. We've got red calipers on the outside and we have, look at this. There's adrenaline red inserts on this thing. We've got red stitching. We've got red seat belts. There is a lot of stuff that we're gonna be talking about this specific interior in the future. Um, it is just unbelievable. We've got suede on it. There is quite a bit of cool styling cues that we're gonna be talking about for quite some time. I hope you guys enjoy this part of it. We're gonna get it inside of the shop and then I'm gonna start showing you guys what we've been doing on the Elkhart Lake Blue convertible that we had in earlier this week. All right guys, so Fishman is a busy guy. He's gotta to go to the rail yard in Ingersoll, but I wanted to give you guys one last awesome piece of information. Fishman is gonna be doing a lot more deliveries over the winter. They just did announce that GM Canada will be doing deliveries throughout the winter season. 
So if you guys have a Corvette and it's past the November deadline, have no fear, KM Canada is gonna be delivering them and Fishman will be making sure that they get there okay. So thanks a lot, Fishman, I appreciate everything. Just give me a little chicken wing right. and I'll see you around, drive safe. All right, I found a nice secluded area for me to be able to go over these Corvettes with you. I got Old Faithful over here. She's getting ready to go for her first service appointment um, after the uh, epic road trip that I just went on. The video for that should be up right now so that you can enjoy it. We are gonna be going through um, how to winterize your Corvette very shortly, so stay tuned for that awesome episode as well. But without further ado, allow me to introduce you to this beautiful Elkhart Lake Blue 2LT convertible. We've done some very awesome things to this. It's got a Z51 suspension on it. We have the paint protection and also a ceramic coating on here. You could fry up an egg and it would just slide right off. It feels like a baby's bum. It's so smooth. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. We have the ceramic tint on here as well, which is going to help in keeping the interior pristine. If you know from a previous episode, I did it on my Corvette. I have a black interior, so it definitely helps out quite a bit in making it not feel as hot. But more importantly, over the years, it's going to make sure that the interior does not get too damaged. Now, the high wing option is on here as well. And as as you can see, our accent on this one is carbon flash metallic. Just look at the color and the contrast that you have with this. It's absolutely gorgeous with the Elkhart Lake Blue High Flake. And then we have the carbon flash in the nacelles and also on the top. This thing has a couple of Easter eggs that they put on the later models. If you notice here, it says Team Corvette, and then we've got the Twin Flags logo. This is a 1300 VIN. And then over on this side, we've got another mug shot of Arcus Duntoff. Zora is making another appearance, not only on the door jams, but now he is also on the windshield. So this is starting to be a very fun process of finding all the Easter eggs. It's not like all the original ones have that. If you go over and you look at mine or some of the earlier VIN numbers, they don't have that kind of stuff. And that's kind of cool. This is batch 157 before I get too ahead of myself. Um, just always wanted to document where we are in the process of getting these built. The plant is back up and running. And if you didn't remember what I just told you guys in the, in the uh, part with Fishman, we are going to be having these things deliver over the winter months that's very exciting for us northerners as this was something that we did not have on previous generations so let's take a look at this a little bit more we've got the carbon flash metallic accents we've also gone with a drop on the suspension this has got a one inch drop on it and the reason why we can do it so easily with this is because it does not have the front lift if you look at this one and mine over here, because we have the front lift option on both of these, it's a quite difficult process to do. And just look at this, the appearance of it. The stance of this Corvette gives it such a, a, an aggressive supercar look. It looks almost like it's a Ford GT when it's in this color as well. I absolutely love the stance and the aggressiveness of this. And there are some other options that we're gonna show you as well. There is the front splitter done in the pitted plastic and then this over here is a three quarter length rocker panel that is from the factory as an accessory. Uh, the option code for it is STI. And uh, it's kind of funny I say that because the STI also was a color um, on a Subaru that was in kind of a similar color as well. So maybe kind of a cool little play on that right there. Uh, now onto the topic of two tones interiors and custom overrides. That's what we're going to be talking about mainly today as I have two really good examples of what you can do to customize your Corvette, make it a little bit different and also maybe had some tasteful upgrades in case um, you just didn't want to go with a regular interior. I have a black interior because there's a lot of people that are going to getting in and out of mine. But if I had an option, I would say that the sky cool gray would have been something that I would have liked to seen in mine. Now with that being said, we already had an Elkhart Lake blue with the sky cool gray interior and this owner knew that he had a, a, a liking to that combination but was concerned about the durability of having an all-white interior so what he did is he went with the two-tone option as you can see we have the full napa leather on the seats this is the gt2 seat and then we've done the two-tone option which gives you the sky cool gray inserts this combination of, of sky cool gray and elkark is just absolutely amazing and when you add the baseball stitching and also on the console and the dash this is without a doubt a really great way of being able to style your Corvette and still have some functionality if you're gonna be driving it a lot now on the other Corvette that I have here they've gone a little bit of a different route they don't drive theirs as much it's more of a collector's vehicle for them and so they have an all suede interior on this one this is going to be one that is uh, very unique. It's going to be something that you can enjoy for the long time. And I'm going to show you it right now. We're just going to get uh, the top of this taken off so that we can kind of see it from the outside. I wish I could take the top off on the Elkhart one, but it has just got its windows tinted. So we're not going to be able to do that right now. Um, well, without further ado, let's open up the top on this Corvette and go over it in more, more detail. 
All right, so the top is coming off. I'm using the key fob to do that. Remember, it's a pretty handy tool to have, especially if you're uh, wanting to get it all ready before you get in. There again is the engine bay cover. Not a lot to look at, but just amazing how much ingenuity is behind it. And then with it having a 3LT, the little inserts here are even done in suede. It's just absolutely remarkable. So here it is, folks. This is a 2LT, or sorry, a 3LT interior. We have the red stitching on it, and then we've done an override to make it so that the center console and the dash do not have red inserts if you normally get a two-tone interior with this you will have the center console right here and the dash inserts like you saw on the Elkhart Lake one um, be in the color the secondary color when you have the color override option you can pay $680 Canadian and that will allow you to override it to a different combination that they don't normally do from the factory in this one we've done a two-tone seat and then we've done black suede with the red stitching on it so a really amazing way to make your interior custom he didn't want to have too much red on the dash he only wanted to have it in certain or certain areas to make it a little bit more subtle and he definitely achieved that with this interior i'm very excited to show you guys what this will look like once it's all done we do have accessories going on this like the full length rocker panels a high wing and then also the splitter in the carbon flash we're not going to be doing any carbon fiber on this vehicle the only carbon fiber that you will see is on the interior and also on the seats here so I hope you guys enjoy that. We've got a lot of things coming through the pipes. If you remember what I was saying earlier with Fishman, they are going to be doing deliveries throughout the winter for the northern states and Canada. This is something that we have not had on previous generations. I'm excited to see what this means for our future allotment. They should be announcing our allotment any day. So keep keep waiting for me to make an announcement on that. I don't know when that will be, but have faith that we are finally back up and running. They're getting Corvettes out here. There's no issues to report. They look amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed this content and I'd stay tuned for more. Happy motoring. All right, I'm back in my office and I just had an exciting package arrive. It's something that I've been waiting for quite some time to see. Um, I actually ordered this before the uh, road tripping series that I filmed as I was hoping to have this accessory for the road trip. Um, it's something that was custom designed for the Corvette and I think it was on back order as this is why I haven't seen it come in on any other items. I haven't seen it online. So I'm very excited to show it to you guys. Uh, without further ado, I'm just gonna bring them out from underneath my desk. I already started to unpack some of them um, out of a big box. You've got your first look at the accessory custom luggage that you can get for the Corvette. Now I also unwrapped this one just so that you can get an idea. There are two different sizes that are on here. And if you notice, there's some really cool cues that relate to the Corvette. So it's not just a piece of luggage that has a Corvette logo on it. Um, first off, it's amazing, genuine leather. It smells awesome. Uh, you've got really cool Corvette uh, badging and logos here. But if you're thinking that this looks familiar, you're right, it's the bottom of the seat on your C8 Corvette. So if you have the GT2 seat, um, this is exactly the same kind of stitching pattern that's on the perforated portion of the seat. Um, I just love that it brings some um, of the styling from your Corvette into the luggage and if you're going on vacation, um, it'd be a really great conversation starter. And even further than that, because it is custom designed for the C8, it's gonna be able to maximize the space that you have on your Corvette. So I'm very excited that it finally arrived. I hope you guys are enjoying this uh, as we go through this Corvette build and we'll show you what it looks like when we put it inside of the Corvette shortly. All right, I just snuck into the back of the shop and I wanted to show you guys some cool things that are going on back here. Here is what the back end of your Corvette looks like. There's a date which looks like it was October 5th of 2020 and then someone signed off on it. Um, very interesting little markings back here. I hope that one day we can find out more about what these mean. And this is your carbon fiber bumper. This is what has a lot of structural rigidity back here. It's one of the components that General Motors is very proud to have on this Corvette. You can see that this has the performance exhaust on it. On this side, there's an auxiliary unit box, but on this side, there isn't. So there's some interesting things. It's not as symmetrical as you think behind there. And then if you haven't ever been able to see behind here, when they're putting the high wing on your Corvette, they will be taking it off so that they can bolt it to the actual deck. There are your lights, your, your braking reverse lights are in here. There's even some heat shielding, which is pretty cool to see the back end of. And this is actually the hole for where your tow hook will come out. So very cool. This isn't an angle that most people ever get to see behind. And um, over here, we have the rocker panels and the front splitter that are gonna be going on the Corvette as well. I hope you guys enjoy this behind the access scenes. There's a lot of cool little accessories that are going on this Corvette. We even have the splash guards, which will be going on as well once we take off this guarding right in here. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Stay tuned. We got some more awesome things going on in this Corvette. Front splitter, rocker panels, and high wing are on. Looking good. All right, everybody, it's been a long day, but I wanted to shoot this video before I went home. It's nice and quiet inside of the shop, and it's a great opportunity for me to be able to show you the final package right before it gets detailed for the owner tomorrow. This is what we would call a stylish cruiser. Now, we're calling it a cruiser because A, it's a convertible, and B, it is the non-Z51 format, so it has a softer suspension, and the code for that is FE1. And then we have less aggressive tires, and we also have a less aggressive a braking system and overall just even with the limited slip differential being different in it um, it's going to give it a different demeanor so when you have the top off and you've got a softer ride on the vehicle you definitely get that cruiser aspect to it now the reason why i call it a stylish cruiser is because we have dressed it up with all the beautiful aero packages on it we've got the four post high wing spoiler on here and then we also have that very unique interior on here so I'm going to go through with you guys a little bit more about the details, but just again, I just absolutely love doing this. So let's do it. We're going to hit the unlock button. We're going to hold down this button right here. And as you can see, all the windows come down, the rear one included, the lights flickered on for a second, which is kind of cool. All while we're waiting for the top to go down, you'll also note that we've got the accents of the chrome badging on here as well, which will just make that pop a little bit more and go with your rims. You'll see that you have your hazards and your four ways go on once it's all done. That's in case you're not within an ear distance of the Corvette. So you know that everything's been done properly. The Corvette will let you know audibly by a beep, but if you're not too close to be able to hear that, um, having that four-way uh, flashing system go on is going to be able to give you a visual reference if you're not within an ear's reach and you're trying to do that top properly. It is a little bit cumbersome if you let go of the button before it's all done. There is a little bit of a lag to continue that process. So I like the fact that we have the four-ways flash because then you know that you can safely let go of the key fob uh, in order to make sure that everything goes. Now, I don't know if I touched upon this, but there are some variations between the two keys that you get. I like this idea because if you know on your side here where you have your memory seats, you'll notice that you have a one and a two. There are memory settings that you have in order to make sure that if you had your specific key set up with settings, that you know that this is your key and so does the vet. So if you notice here, the logo on this one has the carbon flash metallic uh, cross flags, but you also on your second key will have a chrome one. I love this feature because it means that if you always know that your key settings are on this carbon flash one, if you're picking around looking for yours or your wife or your spouse's, you know that that's your key just based on the cross flags logo that's on there. Now let's go through some more features that are on here. Um, the one thing that I wanna just have you guys be able to take advantage of and looking at, because we have it under some very nice lighting, is the fact that the splitter system on here is in carbon flash metallic, and then we also have the badging in chrome. This is a really excellent combination. It's a very clean combination. It means that if you're going for having a very consistent overall color, where you know the, the intakes are all in the same color as well, you've got a very good, um, contrast between these two colors. We haven't completely done the detailing yet, so have no fear. This is not how we would present it to the customer, uh, but I want you guys to be able to see the contrast between the carbon flash metallic and the suede and the black color on the Corvette. All the accents are already done in carbon flash metallic from the factory, so it made sense to continue with that theme when you were doing the high wing and also the rocker painters and splitters in that same color because it's just adding a whole different color and a significant cost to something that is very hard to get. I'm talking about that 5VM package. They're almost elusive now in, in, in how rare they are to find. Um, I'm waiting to see what ACS Composites comes out in particular as they are a fellow Canadian company and I want to support as much as I can a local product. So ACS, I'm very excited to see what you have coming out. This is the GM one, which obvious, for obvious reasons is going to be a nice thing for resale if you ever wanted to sell it again. To tell somebody that you have the OEM spec, GM, uh, ground effects kit and high wing spoiler on the vehicle. Now, another thing that I like that they continued with that chrome theme is the Corvette script is also in chrome. It matches the Stingray logo on the back of the top, and then you also have it for your Crossfags logo. You also have an option on the Corvette to be able to do this in blue and in red. I did have a black Corvette that was in here earlier this year that had red as its accent, and the Corvette script on that was absolutely remarkable. 
Now, without further ado, let's take one last detailed look at the interior on this, as it is a very unique option, and I wanna make sure that we go over how you can get this type of interior, because it is not a normal process in the configurator. Okay, so let's take a quick look inside of here at the window sticker to give us some reference. I also have the batch numbers in here, all that information I always keep for your documentation. This had an original target production week of um, the week prior, but then because of the shutdown, they bumped it back. So batch 157 started on the week of the 20th. Um, over here on the window sticker, we're gonna go through a couple of things. The first thing that we're gonna talk about is the red stitching. On any 3LT, you can get red stitching or yellow stitching done to your Corvette. All of this here is what we're talking about, and it even goes over to your steering wheel and then also the top of your steering wheel or your squircle as we call it, the square circle steering wheel. The next option that we have on here that we're gonna talk about is the two-tone option. Now this is where it gets unique. The two-tone option originally on this with the Adrenaline Red is gonna make it so that your center console and all of these accents up here, which are in suede in the Adrenaline Red. What we've done with this Corvette to get a little bit more subtle and not have as much red on the dash is we've had this override, which is right over here. Now the custom interior and trim seat override is gonna allow us so that we can have a suede interior on the dash and the console instead of it being a regular Adrenaline Red. Now, because this is a factory where they have to have a lot of different components going, and you may have even watched Kai Sponde's um, National Corvette uh, Museum NCM Bash interview where he was talking about how expensive it is for them to keep inventory. This is really touching upon that. They are got a, a number of combinations already. You've got natural, natural dipped, adrenaline, two-tone, sky cool gray. All those kind of combinations mean that they have a lot of different things that they have to keep in stock. And when you think about having an even rarer option, like not having the two-tone with the center console and the dash, it creates a huge influx of demand for different options when you're going from the factory. And it makes sense why they would have to charge for a color combination override. In my opinion, this suede interior is absolutely gorgeous. One of my favorite parts of it has gotta be in the center console area where you've got your carbon fiber from that separate interior carbon fiber package. You've got the suede on the, apps, on the cover of the mode selector. You even got suede on your um, cup holders here. It to me just looks absolutely gorgeous all in all. Now this is somebody that is a very um, avid collector of vehicles. He has an Aston Martin, he has classic chargers. He has got a lot of vehicles that he can have in a nice environment um, in a garage for all of his collections. So again, what I was touching upon earlier in the video with this being a suede interior, it's a little bit more uh, delicate. I don't want to say that this is super fragile and it's going to fall apart, but let's be honest, a suede interior is always going to be less durable than a normal leather because you're literally taking the leather and you're cutting it in half. If you didn't realize that, a semi-aniline leather um, is basically got a, a full grain Napa leather and then there's a protective coating on top of it. And what you're doing with suede is you're literally having this leather cut in half and this is the exposed part or what would be in the middle of the leather. So with that being said, it goes without saying that suede is always gonna be a more fragile uh, material and it also is gonna absorb things like oils on your hands, that's why you don't ever eat hamburgers and stuff like that when you're driving a Corvette because you're gonna get that suede all over the interior. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is a very beautiful example of what we have. If you're interested in doing stuff like this, make sure you talk to your dealer as we don't wanna have you order a vehicle, have it arrive and be something completely different than what you expected. It's always important to have an expert like me that can help you out in these combinations. So if you are interested in learning a little bit more or maybe you wanna run through one, make sure you add the link in the comment section or maybe just give me an email and I can go over your build with you. Thank you so much for watching guys and happy motoring.